In this video, we're going to learn how to install Raylib 5.0 in Visual Studio 2022. So I assume that you're already on Raylib site over here. And in here, we're going to click on this icon over here to go to Raylib's GitHub page. And in this site over here, we're going to drag down and click on releases over here. And in here, we're going to install again Raylib version 5.0. So drag down in here. So under contributors, we have this section over here called assets and in here, we need to install an msvc zip file to use Raylib with Visual Studio. So over here, we have two such zip files over here, one for Windows 32 and the other one for Windows 64. So based on which version of operating system that you are using, you need to choose Windows 32 or Windows 64 bit over here. So my operating system is 64 bit. So I'm going to download this zip file over here. But if you're using 32 bit version of Windows, then you need to install this zip file over here. So as you can see over here, I have already installed Raylib over here. So you can just right click over here and then extract it to a different folder. So in my case, I have extracted Raylib to this folder over here. So it's nice and organized. And after that, open up Visual Studio and we're going to create a new project. So I'm going to choose an empty C++ project. And if you want to program in C++, then you need to install the C++ components from the Visual Studio installer. So after you have installed the C, C++ component, you would also have the empty C++ project as a project template. And then from here, I'm going to click on the Solutions Explorer over here. Open this up. I'm going to right click over here and then navigate to Add New Item. And I'm going to call this Main CPP. All right, so click on Add. And under Source Files, we have a new C++ file and then once we are done with that, we are going to right click over here and then click on properties. And over here, you need to make sure that your configuration is set to all configurations. So this way, all changes that you make over here will apply to all configurations over here. Alright, so choose all configurations. Go to C, C++, general. And in here, we have the additional include directories over here. In here, we need to add the include directory in Relib. Open up the file that you have extracted. And in here, you have two folders over here. You have the include folder and the lib folder. So open up the include folder. And in here, you need to copy the directory. So go over here, copy it, and then paste it over here. And after that, go to linker general. And over here, we have the additional library directories over here. In here, we need to add the lib directory. Alright, so open up the lib folder over here, then copy the directory, and then paste it over here. After that, go to input under linker, and then we have this setting over here called additional dependencies. Click on this icon over here and then select edit. And over here, we're going to type raylib.lib, then give a semicolon, and then type win.lib. So these two dependencies are very important. And after this, you can just click on apply and then click on OK. And to now, test whether our logic is working or not, we are going to copy some code from one of the examples in Raylib. So in here, I am going to select the basic window over here and I am going to copy all of this code over here and paste it over here. Now you can try running this code by pressing the F5 key. And you can see it's working all fine. So this means we have installed Raylib into Visual Studio. Now, 
If you are a beginner in Visual Studio, then you may not know that changes that you make in your project will not carry over to any other projects. So if you were to start a new Rayleigh project right now in Visual Studio, then you would have to repeat the steps that we took to add Raylib to Visual Studio, specifically telling the compiler and the linker where to look for the Raylib library and header files. And one common way to fix this issue in Visual Studio is by exporting your project as a project template. So if you were to go over here to project, you would have this setting over here called export template. Click on it. And in here, you can select any project that you want to use as a template. By default, it's going to be using our current project. And you can choose the name of the project template over here. And you can even give a description to your template, an icon image and so on. And once you're done with this, you can click on finish. So now, if I were to open up a new project, you can see we have our project template over here. Raylib YouTube and you can select this to create your new project. So go here to our main CPP and we can now try this out by pressing the F5 key and you can see how our project has compiled. So yeah that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye.